we've changed some of our shopping methods. We are uh, actually limiting the number of clients that we allow in the store at any one time to allow for social distancing. Right now here in Tahlequah we're having all clients report to the employee entrance. We'll sign them in. They wait in their cars and then we, if, you know, we can call them back up when we're ready for them. As long as they're under 65 we're still allowing them to shop at this point. Now that, that could change you know just depending on situations but right now we're allowing those six, 64 and younger to shop. You have a great day. Thank you and I appreciate that. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. We're offering to do curbside pickup for clients who are 65 and older. And what we do is we, sh we print off a shopping guide and we actually go to the car and we get anything yeah. they want off this guy. Get a basket, gather them up, box them, and take them to the car and put them in. And we've also expanded our home delivery. We have clients who are elder, we can offer home delivery to them and get those groceries to them so they don't have to get out of their homes. You know, it's gonna benefit both of them. We're protecting our staff, we're also protecting our clients by limiting the exposure and allowing for more social distancing. We have not had any issues with food deliveries. Uh, we're still receiving all of our foods that we've ordered, so that's not been an issue at all. We have had an influx in clients coming in. And from what I'm hearing is, you know, clients can't get the foods that they need in the grocery store, so we're having more clients come into our food distribution stores to apply for services. We're glad that we have this resource available and that we can provide the foods that they need.